We're really seeing the passing of an old era, a facility, institution, rule, regulation era, and the dawn of what I think is a new age, an age of, 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 um, of possibility where people who are frail and demented and elderly can receive care in a place that's much more like a garden and much less like a hospital. The reason I think the Eden Alternative is so useful to people who are working in the field of long-term care is that it addresses three very fundamental problems that are otherwise overlooked. And those problems are loneliness, helplessness, and boredom. Our elders uh, come to us uh, to be cared for by us and they bring with them, oh, you know, a big brown bag full of medicines and a long list of diagnoses, you know, heart failure, arthritis, diabetes, etc. But they also bring with them a heart and soul. Uh, they're human beings. And human beings, in order to have really a life worth living, um, need to be in a place, in an environment, where they are not subject um, to the terrible ache of loneliness where they are not um, uh, liable to fall into a black pit of helplessness, where they're not crushed under a terrible burden of boredom. In fact, in order to be a fully human being, to live a fully human life, we have to address those three plagues of loneliness, helplessness, and boredom. One of the things people often misunderstand about the Eden Alternative is really what's the heart of it? What's the center of the Eden Alternative? And many people think that it's really all about dogs and cats and birds and kids. And, um, well, that's part of it. It's not the center. The center is really about changing who we are, the organization, how we relate to one another. The real heart of the Eden Alternative is the work of changing an institution into a place where there is uh, so much warmth and optimism and trust that plants and animals and children are not only tolerated, they're welcome and accepted, where they're treasured for the gifts that they bring to the elderly. That's hard work. And, and sometimes people uh, try to bypass it. And they try to just sprinkle dogs and cats onto a nursing home and think that they're doing the Eden alternative. No. In fact, um, I have to say um, to people who are watching this, who are working in a nursing home, make sure that your, organiz your organization does not put the cart before the horse. In this case, um, the horse is that commitment to changing the way we treat one another, the way we organize ourselves, the way we think of ourselves as an organization. That that's the effort to create warmth and love and vitality as a living presence inside the organization. The cart are the dogs and cats and birds. And you know, they are wonderful and they do spectacular things for the elderly. But don't put the cart before the horse. Remember, you've got to do the hard work of organizational change so that the animals and plants and children can do what they do best.